okay so let's take a look at new particle effect that you can use within your games that make use of underwater bubbles or underwater upstream and we can do that so open gdevelop create new project and here you can see i purposefully made the background black gray okay so you can change if you want so to suit your underwater bubbles and make them enough to visible the effect so here first thing add new object choose particle emitter let's give it bubble as name you can choose line as particle kind then line length set to larger something like 10 then line thickness to 1 then start color make it a bit dark blue right so something like this then end color let's make it something like this some also make use of two dark colors or simply white if they want okay make sure to have additive rendering and remove the delete when out of particles keep this opacity to 204 and 0 then maximum number of particles set it to 300 as is then number of particles in tank minus 1 and flow of particles keep it for 100 then you have minimum emitter force okay set to 100 and maximum set for 200 also spray cone angle we want to keep it low so set to one radius of emitter we have to increase that to 20 keep the gravity settings as is then come to particle minimum lifetime we want to set to two two for both right then comes particle rotation speed keep that for zero zero and start size hundred hundred okay in size hundred right so pretty much we have taken care of that click on apply and then add that to your scene select that make sure the angle is upwards right so the angle upwards right now save this and then run and here you see your particle showing up stream bubbles or you can see upstream water so if you have some project something like aquarium or underwater 2d game then this sort of particle effect can be useful in that context so you get the idea how to make use of particle effect like underwater upstream or underwater bubbles